The questions of Metugu, Metugu Mano Puche. I ask you a question, blessed one. Please tell me this, said the venerable Metugu. I consider you a way the master, one inverted your lot. From where have these sufferings arisen in their many forms in the world? You have asked me about the origin of suffering, Metugu, said the blessed one. As one who understands, I will tell you this. Suffering in their many forms in the world or on age based on acquisitions. The ignorant dullard who creates acquisitions encounters suffering again and again. Therefore, understanding one should not create acquisition, contemplating it as the genesis and origin of suffering. You have told us what we have asked. Let me ask you another. Please speak on this. How do the wise cross over the flood, over birth and old age? Savo and lamenting, explain this to me clearly, Muni, for this Dhamma has been understood by you. I will proclaim the Dhamma to you, Metagu, said the Blessed One. Seeing is his very life, no matter of hearsay, having understood which, living mindfully, one can cross over attachment to the world. And I delight, great Rishi, in that supreme Dhamma, having understood which, living mindfully, one can cross over attachment to the world. Whatever you comprehend, Metugu, said the Blessed One, above, below, and across in the middle, having dispelled delight and attachment to these, consciousness would not be persistent in existence. A bhikkhu, so dwelling, mindful, heedful, having given up taking things as mine, right here such a wise one might abandon suffering birth and old age, sorrow and lamenting. I delight in this world of great Rishi, well-proclaimed Gautama is a state without acquisitions. Certainly the Blessed One has abundant suffering, for this Dhamma has been understood by you. Surely they too can abandon suffering whom you many would consistently exhort. Therefore having met you, O Naga, I pay homage. Perhaps the Blessed One would constantly exhort me. Whatever Brahmin you may know to be a Veda master, owning nothing, unattached to sensual pleasures and existence, he has certainly crossed this flood, and crossed to the beyond, he is unbarren, rid of doubt. And the wise man here, the Veda master, having loosened his tie to the various state of existence, rid of craving, untroubled, wishless, has crossed over birth and old age, I say.